Hi, this is John. Come on in. I've got another video here. And the title is Freight Brokers Choosing and Registering Your Business Name. I have a company in El Paso, Texas, ATEX Freight Broker Training. We'll talk more about this toward the end of the video. But let's continue on here. Some individuals may have an idea of what they want for a business name. They may do a Google search to see if the name comes up in the results. And if it doesn't, they may mistakenly think that the name is available. The correct way is to go to either the Secretary of State or to the County Clerk's Office, depending on the desired business structure. Generally, the Secretary of State is for corporations and LLCs, etc. And the County Clerk is to file for sole proprietorships. Here's an example for the Secretary of State's Office in Texas. Here you'll see a screenshot and up toward the top over on the left you'll see a link called business filings. If you were to click on this link, which I did to come to SOS Direct, you're going to find a lot of information on forming a business, corporation or partnership or an LLC. So you'll go to your Secretary of State if you're doing a corporation. Now here's an example for the County Clerk's Office in El Paso County. Here's a screenshot here of their website, and if you'll notice in big letters here, Assumed Names Search. When you're filing for a sole proprietor, you will do a name search, and it's going to either be called an Assumed Name Search, or it's going to be something like Doing Business As, etc. And many people refer to these as DBAs. You don't necessarily need to hire an attorney to do this search. Now, even if it appears that the name you want is available, it's important to get it registered without delay. You don't want to do your application for your motor carrier and DLT numbers until the name is actually registered at either the state or the county level. A name may be available one day and gone the next day. Further, if you have a name that is similar to another registered name, you may be denied using that name that you desire. And you'll need to continue looking for a name that's available and not too similar to another registered name. Here's an example. Here in Texas, business names that include the words Lone Star are very difficult, if not impossible, to find. Either someone else has registered a business name with the name you desire, or the name you want may be too similar to another name and it may be denied. In summary, two points here. One, if your desired business name is unique, your chance of getting that name registered is greatly increased. And two, just because a name is available when you do a search does not mean it will be available when you are ready to file your registration. Don't delay the registration if you are ready with an available business name. Do not begin your applications for your broker authority until the name is actually registered. Lastly, if you have not downloaded my free ebook, Introduction to Freight Brokering, you may do so by going to my website, www.atexfbt.com. The FBT stands for Freight Broker Training. Most people find this ebook very helpful, and you may want to be sure and check out Section 3. Section 3 is Getting Your Broker Authority, Other Registrations, and Insurance. Section 3 outlines what you need and the costs involved. Keep this in mind. Freight brokering has relatively low startup costs, and your monthly overhead is very low as you are building your empire, however large or however small you desire. Go here now and grab my free ebook, www.atexfbt.com. Then let me know if you are ready to start training or if you have questions. That's all on this video. Again, this is John with ATEX Freight Broker Training in El Paso, Texas. Thanks for watching.